so hello guys good evening how are you so today as you all know we are here to discuss my toefl test day experience at the center and as to what went well and what went wrong what did i learn from the mistakes i have made and what you should not be doing and what you should be doing so let's get started with it the first thing i'll to talk about myself my name is anubhav mishra and i am currently working as a software engineer and i graduated yesterday and i did my btech and i'm going to apply for the fall 2023 season and uh, let's get on with the video so i gave my toefl uh, on the 16th of november at a defense colony center in new delhi for all of those who know about it so the center was okay not too good not too bad uh, i would recommend it if it is close to your house if it's away you can look out for other options also so uh, for the first thing i would like to start off with you just need to reach the exam center at least like 45 to 1 or uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour early so that all the anxiety or the tension you're having at least the anxiety of not reaching the exam center of on time would not be there you would reach the exam center well before your time and then you will be having some time to calm down and then just focus on your per, per test so uh, i would reach you i would recommend you to reach the exam center about 45 to minutes to 1 hour early and then uh, the thing i am telling you is you should reach the exam center early but you should not go into the test or the exam hall immediately after you reach uh what i recommend is you should go uh, a little late like if there are all the people are lined up to go in the exam hall you should be among the last two or three people to go into the exam hall you just don't be the last just be uh, among the last people because if you uh, are the among the first people to go in the exam center there is a mic test that happens in the starting of the test and for that everyone is needed to like describe the city they live in so a lot of people like repeat their check a lot of times and they just shout on to their uh, mic a lot and because of that if you have started your test and your reading section is going on there is a lot of noise there will be around all of the all of the people that are giving the test so i would definitely recommend you to start the test a, a little late later than everybody else that, so that your reading section doesn't get impacted by the noise other people will be making the app and the second thing i would like to tell like you should get charged up before entering the exam hall like if you are feeling hungry it just eat something a chocolate or biscuit or something anything like that like do stretching or something and breathe in breathe out a few times so that your body gets into the active mode that it is going to perform to the fullest of its ability in the exam hall and you shouldn't be like it, even the least of laziness in the uh, exam center so just get charged up to like rock the exam yeah and the third section the third point i would like to say that like um, try working in different lighting and noisy environment conditions so the thing i experienced from my experience was that i was used to give my exam like mock test while i was practicing at my home at in a certain conditions so my mind was used to like perform to, to the best of its ability in that environment and in that lighting conditions only so but when i reached that exam center it was a little different because there was multiple light sources and which my brain was not used to so it got a little matlab it is really specific but this happened with me so i wanted to share with you so just try to like when you are practicing at home try to give mock test in multiple rooms under multiple lighting conditions you don't know where the source of light would be and that could impact like your focusing ability and that could hamper your performance in the test day so if you are already used to it and under different lighting conditions and especially the noisy conditions because there will be a lot of people who are doing this mic check and there will be the invigilator also like walking past you always and maybe some people already have started your, their listening section so they uh, increase their volume a lot and you can clearly hear it if you are giving the reading section so you should be uh, get well adapted with various environments that the test center might have the other thing i would like to say you should to start practicing with a pencil and paper instead of a pen and uh, 
copy your pen you are practicing while giving your mock test at home because the way we write notes with the pencil is a little different than the pen we write it with because i have personally experienced that i was used to see my notes with a darker ink while i was practicing at home but when the test day came the pencil was a little lighter and i was having a little difficulty in focusing on with the pencil and my notes so you should definitely start practicing with the pencil only for while you're giving mocks at your home the next thing as i told you the in while the starting of the test there will be a mic check to just check your microphone is working properly or not it will just say describe the city you live in and then we, there will be as you all would know there will be a reading or a listening uh, experimental section so it could be either of those it could be either the fourth reading passage or it could be the extra lecture or conversation in the listening section so you should be prepared to handle both of them uh, either of them could come and uh, the thing all that went wrong with me was uh, i got a reading section uh, as experimental i and i did not practice at my home for reading passages at a time I, while i was giving mocks i only were practiced uh, three mocks continuously while i was giving my practice test and were uh, accord when i was giving the test uh, i matlab i messed up in the timing section and my time management was uh, went bad because of which my last paragraph got affected and my reading score was hampered a little so i would just say you should be having a backup plan also that if someone something doesn't go the timing doesn't go right you spend a little more time on the reading passage what should be your backup plan and uh, like you just no, no need not be nervous even if your timing gets uh, messed up in the exam so you should already have a backup plan what would you do and the general thing it would be like try to do all the questions as fast as you can so that even if you have a little time left you can revise the questions or uh, you can review the questions which you have left earlier which you weren't able to solve earlier so just be quick and have a backup plan if your timing goes wrong and then the listening section comes so in the listening section as you all would know you need to listen clearly you would get an option to configure your volume in that uh, uh, portal that you have given on the screen so you can uh, adjust it accordingly what is suitable for you but i would just recommend whatever it is suitable just go a little bit like four or six points higher than that volume because other people will also be listening to the their uh, listening section so you could also hear other people's volume because uh, some people like max out their volume so just focus a lot and that could hamper your listening uh, section so just be a little uh, higher on the higher side for the volume and then this listening section there will be like two conversation and three lectures if you don't have a, an experimental section and for the two conversations you will be getting 5 minutes and 50 seconds to answer 11 questions and for the lecture part you will be getting 16 minute no 11 minutes and for the 17 questions for the lecture so you have to answer them them in the that particular time frame only otherwise it will just time out and you won't be able to answer the questions and then the break comes and in the break you should just uh, get recharged once again i know you for the last two hours your mind was focusing a lot working a lot so the next thing is just eat up some chocolates or energy drink just sip or two and don't drink much otherwise you might have to go to toilet again and you don't want that so just a little chocolate or something like that whichever just gets you back to recharging your brain and you could also do some like stretching and all some people do that so you could also do that and just come back to the exam hall and start with your speaking section and for the speaking section one thing i would like to say you just need to be confident because uh, in the first question as i was not adapted to the environment uh, 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 while i was giving my test and uh, it was different from the environment i was giving my mocks in uh, i i initially felt a little di different but uh, in the first question i was a little uh, hesitant 
so the, it, it it did like this uh, 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 it happened with it i had a few hiccups but uh, after the first question i got uh, habitual with it and for the rest of the three sections it went really well because i was in my flow so if, if one thing also you could do that while you are in your break you could just start like saying the initial or just keep in mind the initial phase phrases that you're going to say like the reading passage states that or in my opinion or the person in the audio states that the professor states this whatever you are going to start with it should be something like just robotic it just comes to your mouth automatically you don't need to think about the initial phrases that you're going to use in the speaking section and as you would know there is a possibility that in the speaking section other people are also speaking and because of that a lot of noise is created so for that i would definitely recommend you to practice in a noisy environment the speaking section while you're giving your mocks or practicing at home so play some other music or some news channel video in your background and anything like that which get, helps you get used to speaking in a noisy environment because a lot of people will be speaking when you are speaking. So it that might also hamper or your thinking ability while you're giving the speaking section. And uh, uh, but it, it, here is a little advantage because I initially you remember I told you to start a little late. If you would have started a little late, most of the people would have already. Uh, spoken about their task and given the speaking section so in that you wouldn't be like but uh, you wouldn't be like interrupted by other people's thoughts and you would just continue with your own speaking section without a lot of without a very little noise in comparison to if you would have started a lot earlier so that is a pro tip that i'm giving it to you you can follow it and for that the next thing i am going to say when you are giving the speaking section, there obviously we all know there uh, we have to write some things for the task two, three, and four, and even for the first one. But it that's that's our opinion. But the second, third one, we have to listen to something and write down our notes. So just write down your notes very properly, whatever the speaker is saying. And when you get the thirty seconds, I want you to like just underline whatever you are saying because. The thing I observed while I was practicing was there was a lot of information that the speaker gives and we can't just say everything in the 60 minutes, the 60 seconds that we're giving in the speaking section in the task two and three and four. So you just need to underline what all points would you be like covering for sure. If the time remains, then you can go on to the details which are not underlined the it would just add on to your detail but the main point should be underlined while you have the 30 seconds and you just take a deep breath just before you're starting and like say in your mind i can do it so and then just the time comes and you could just, just start speaking robotically for the first set phrase and then look onto your notes the underlined things whatever you had done just say it automatically everything would have come if you would have practiced properly and the, the, after that, the writing section comes. So in the writing section, uh, one thing I did not do properly. In fact, I had done at practice, but I wasn't able to implement it, the actual exam was I did not leave uh, enough time in the end to review my passage. And because of which I am pretty sure there should be would be some grammatical error or spelling mistakes, which would have been easily avoided if I had left some time for it. And so I would just recommend you to like at least leave three to four minutes for the integrated task of the writing section and at least five minutes for the independent essay to just go through the whole passage once again, read it for any spelling mistake, any grammar, grammatical errors, commas and full stops and everything like that. Because this also plays a really vital role while you're the instructors or the people who are reviewing your uh, writing and the speaking section they uh, specifically look for the grammatical error so if you can improve them why not and also one thing if you are used to typing on a, a certain type of keyboard or try uh, typing with a different keyboard because you don't know in the exam center what type of keyboard would you be using because i was used to typing on my laptop and it's the keyboard is really smooth with a very less travel and i was able to type very fastly but in the exam hall the keyboard was not so great it was just a normal membrane keyboard and 
it my speed was hampered because of that also so if would have, i would have practiced with different type of keyboards any other ones that i had it, my speed would have been better at the writing section so that is also a thing and after the speaking uh, for the speaking and the writing section uh, uh, a lot of people would have already told you you have to remember a certain template so because in the the speaking and the writing section you don't have much time to think so if you are already ready with a template it just comes out of you naturally and if it gives you a natural a really good start then you can convey all your ideas or whatever notes you've made made a lot more easier so the one thing i would like to say for all this the the third and the fourth section you just have to be like a robot like one of the eight teachers i was taking classes from for the toefl he was he always said that you need to be like a robot you for these sections for the starting and the transition words it shouldn't be like you have to think about them they just they should just come out of you in, from your mind just naturally even less than in one second so you don't actually have to care about and think about the words or the structure that you're going to follow you just only have to think about the content that you will be writing in the exam and your transition phases or the starting sentence how are you going to start for the writing and the speaking section you just should have been memorized it already and then you can just uh, focus on your writing and the speaking and then just go on so in the end there will be a report score options like all of you would have known if you would have given the gre but the, here like the gre we don't have an option to select the institutions uh, at the time of our, our test ends it can only be done till 10 pm of the day before the test uh, of our appointment so you should be already having the four universities selected and i recommend you to choose only the four universities that are in the safer list of your university selections say for example if you are scoring a say 105 in mocks at the at your home approximately you just think that you will be getting a little five to ten points less in the real exam Th that is natural happens with a lot of people so you should only select four universities that require like 80 to 90 marks so at least you, the four universities that your score you are sending your scores to that get actually used because after uh, the exam you have to pay additional fees of 20 dollar for each university that you are going to send your scores to so you do, don't want to send your scores to any university that you are not actually going to use it. So yeah, in the the one of the biggest mistakes I made in my test was in the reading section, my time management got really messed up. So I would like to really insist on everyone to not make the mistake. And even if you are like have made the mistake, just be ready with a backup plan and just uh, don't try to eat one passage's time with uh, using it on the another passage because it it could really hamper your score and you don't know if you have got the experimental section in the reading you don't know which one is the experimental one so you just might be wasting your time on an experimental section that won't even get marked so just don't eat one passage's time for the other one and don't be a no, no, in nervous situation because I was initially when I was starting the exam because it is just a stupid exam as you all know and even if you don't score well you can just always give it after you can reschedule your test even after just three days and I know some people can't do it because of the high fees of this exam but this English this is just an English requirement exam this is not a big deal if the rest of your profile is really good the university I guess would still you give you an uh, conditional admit if the rest of your profile is really good so don't be really nervous and try to practice a lot and stay st be a very calm when you're starting the test and as I said, report the scores to your universities, which are on your safer sides. And then the test ends. Then you just have to wait five to 10 days approximately. Then you will be getting your official score reports on your email ID. And then you can continue on with the rest of your application process. So yeah.
this was my video hope i would have pointed out some good things and hope you don't make the mistakes that i had made and i i can't uh, tell you about the questions although i remember them but they let make me they had made me sign a confidentiality ag agreement because of which i am not able to share the questions so the questions were not like real uh, out of the box but it, they were simple if you would just practice the tpos of the toefl it is normal only just try to practice that only it, the test will definitely go well so best of luck to you all for all your application processes ahead and thank you and please subscribe to my channel and like my video thanks a lot bye